What is on the minds of everyone from Carson City to Lake Tahoe? Fortunately, May brought enough rain to raise Lake Tahoe about three inches up to its natural rim. Jennifer Burton has more on whether that's enough, though, to make a dent in the drought. The good news is all the rain we had in May did bring Lake Tahoe up to its natural rim. But as you can see, the water coming out of Lake Tahoe is down to a trickle. Rain that fell during May this year helped replenish more than just parched lawns. It helped Lake Tahoe, too. It definitely brought Tahoe up. Uh, we did not receive hardly any rise from snowmelt to Tahoe. All the rise we had was from rain, which was very beneficial. Lake Tahoe had dipped below the natural rim, which means no water was being released from the lake through the dam into the Truckee River. That's changed a little bit. The water will start flowing over the rim, down to the dam, and then on out the river. But it's a very, very small amount right now, just more, again, symbolic than anything. The rain did help Boca Reservoir, which was also well below normal levels. Tahoe City saw about an inch and a half, which is not huge. It's above average for Tahoe City, but Boca um, was an all-time record high. Experts say that water was passed down to the Truckee River but it barely makes a dent in the water shortage. Last year was tied with 1934 for the lowest snow amount at Tahoe City, which was 59 and a half inches. This year we've only seen 33 and a half. No matter how much officials manage water in Tahoe, this summer tourists and locals will still be affected. If you come up three inches, it doesn't do a lot for a boat ramp, but it does, you know, it's a lot of water and storage. We're in a big hole. By the end of this year, we will be about two feet lower at Tahoe than we are now just because evaporation will take Tahoe down. Experts expect the water levels here at Lake Tahoe to hold steady for the next week or two, then begin dropping again, unless we get significant rainstorms again in June. Covering the story at Lake Tahoe, Jennifer Burton, Channel 2 News. Mm -hmm.